Welcome to Freddy's Green Hub. Antarctica is a sleeping giant of ice, but it's waking up and fast. At the center of this crisis is the Twaits Glacier, also known as the Doomsday Glacier. Its collapse could reshape coastlines, economies, and even how we live. Today, we will explore what's happening, why it matters, and how we can all help slow this disaster. Maybe you didn't know, but Antarctica holds 90% of the world's ice. And if all of it melted, sea levels would rise by 60 meters. The western portion alone contains enough ice to raise sea levels by over 3 meters. And it's melting much faster than the eastern portion. Why? Most of West Antarctica lies below sea level making it highly vulnerable to warm ocean water. The Twaits Glacier is the centerpiece of this crisis. It's the size of Florida, with an ice face as tall as a six-story building and stretching 120 kilometers along the coast. Over the past 30 years, its ice flow into the ocean has doubled, already contributing 4% to global sea level rise. That's really a lot. Wait, it's in trouble. Scientists have detected a cavity beneath the glacier, two-thirds the size of Manhattan, caused by warm ocean water melting it from below. Its grounding line, where the glacier meets the bedrock, has retreated 14 kilometers since 1992. This backward movement exposed more ice to water, accelerating melting. Imagine a giant domino. Twaits sits on a downward sloping bedrock. As it melts and retreats, it destabilized the entire West Antarctic ice sheet. A complete collapse could take centuries, but could begin this century. If Twaits falls, it could cause more than 3 meters of sea level rise, flooding cities like Miami, New York, and Amsterdam. And we all love these cities, aren't we? This isn't just about distant ice. Rising sea levels threaten 600 million people living in coastal areas. Entire nations, like the Maldives, could disappear. Even inland regions will feel the impact higher food prices, displaced population, and more extreme weather events, like hurricanes and droughts. I will give you examples. Rising sea levels can directly affect property prices by flooding areas like Miami Beach, causing some properties to lose up 20% of their value. Insurance costs in coastal cities such as New Orleans have doubled in recent years, with some homeowners now paying over $10,000 annually. Additionally, disruptions at major ports like Los Angeles increase shipping delays driving up prices for everyday goods. Do not forget that the economy in the world is highly connected. If something happened in one side of our flat earth, it has effect also on you. But here's the good news, we can slow this process. Research shows reducing greenhouse gas emissions can delay to its collapse. Here's how you can help. First point, you can switch to renewable energy, if possible. Bring solar panels on your roof can save you even 1000 euro in Middle Europe. Second point. Think how many people daily come to work alone in cars. How many cars will be in parking if they use public transport? Third point. Vote for leaders prioritizing the environment. Did you see green topics in US elections? Rarely. We cannot have fear from reality. Climate change is here, and just them can have really big impact. 4. Raise awareness. Share reliable information, like this video, to educate others. The more people know about this, the more we can help. Every action counts. By making changes in your daily life, you contribute to global efforts to protect Antarctica. Do this and you help a lot. Imagine that 400 of your colleagues drive to work every day. If 200 of them choose bicycle instead, 
together, they save 200 tons of CO2. Choose bicycle, for example, and you will save 600 euro per year to your wallet. Go on, beer instead. Antarctica's melting ice is a wake-up call, but it's not the end. The choices we make today can slow sea level rise and protect future generations. Will you be part of the solution? Share this video, write me in the comments what we will do to help and join the fight to save our planet. Remember, think green. Bye.